What's happening, everybody? It's Dwayne with Off Grid. So, um, how's it going? I uh, been doing my videos. You know, doing. I did a couple with actual edits. I uh, hope you guys like them. And I have been working on getting better at that. But I realized that initially it's probably going to take a while for me to get these videos out because I'm still getting used to the actual editing process. And it's crazy now that I'm doing it. It's, it's just like crazy that I haven't been doing that all along. But, you know, I had other priorities such as actual homesteading. So I homestead and make YouTube videos about it. Some channels make YouTube videos for a living and they do homesteading as part of their content. There's a difference. So that in itself is like, you know, probably the main reason. However, um, I wanted to talk to everybody about possibly, um, I think what I'm going to do for the format for the YouTube for now anyways, is I'm going to do a thing where I do like, um, where I'll have once a week where I do this type of thing where I just talk and do like a like a vlog and just discuss what's going on in the homestead because there's so many things going on out here and it's just like I don't get a chance to make videos about all of it and so um, I have a lot of projects going on and things that I've done out here that I've never made videos about just because some of the stuff I don't like sharing online uh, just because there's, there's lots of people that watch these videos and I just like keeping some of my stuff private but um, some of it's just because I don't have time. Um, I just have been, you know, just uh, playing a game of whack-a-mole out here, really. It's just constant project after project, fixing things, whatever. So um, to get to the point here, I wanted to talk to everybody about uh, potentially doing a podcast. Now, the reason a podcast works for me is because... I listen to podcasts all day. Now, I don't listen to very many homesteading podcasts, hardly ever, um, mainly because I just do this all the time. So it's like kind of like I don't want to listen to work while I'm doing the work kind of thing. And, um, you know, I, I only pick up little bits and pieces of information. So um, the, the way I would like to format a podcast if I decided to do one is I wouldn't make a podcast necessarily to just talk about what I'm doing because I think there's enough that do that. And frankly, th the reason I don't listen to them is because it's kind of boring to me. I, I don't want to just hear about their experience all the time. I would like to get, you know, something going where what I can do is like research projects, basically like, you know, it's like writing a paper and, and presenting it to the class kind of thing, um, where I basically say I'll do research on quail and talk about quail and the implications for homesteading and off-grid living. Um, maybe the next week I talk about water catchment and I go into research projects and I present information as fact and, and what's out there. And sometimes I'll throw in my experience with it if it's something I have experience with, but I think it would be kind of cool to do that. Um, I don't think there's enough channels that do that in my opinion for, for podcasting. It'd be cool if I could just get on there and, you know, once in a while, like just listen to some like topical information that's, that's very, um, pertinent to what we do out here, you know, cause I'm always like looking for ideas and things like that. And I do listen to podcasts all day, but they're, they're, they're all over the map. So, so what I would like, um, in the comment section, especially, um, is just let me know if podcasts is something that you would even listen to. And if so, if not just why, and, um, you know, I like to get feedback from people cause I, I figure a lot of the people that follow my channel would listen to the podcast or maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm more of a podcast person than a video person. It's a lot easier for me to say, get up in the morning and do the research before I start my day, because I've found that in my mid forties. Now my routine is that I get up early but then I will spend like a couple hours just getting like waking up, you know, like coffee. I'll get online and start, you know, looking up stuff or trying to do research for something I'm working on or whatever. And maybe, you know, what I can do then is now I can take a time aside and go, OK, I'm going to do a research project on quail. You know, obviously I'm, I'm thinking about quail lately. So, you know, that'd be something I'd be interested in doing. Uh, once in a while, I might even have a guest on. I, I'm not sure yet uh, where that will take me. Um, if I did have guests, it would be, it might be a little tricky, you know. So 
anyways, uh, let me know what you think about that. Um, in the meantime, uh, things have been going well out here for me. I've um, just been super busy. As you know, building a house uh, is not an easy feat, especially when you're doing it by yourself, by hand. It's uh, it's a lot of work, you know, which, which I, I got myself into that. But, but just, you know, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with wanting to do, say, a podcast or something. But... The reason I even do these YouTube videos in the first place is because they keep me motivated. They keep me on track. You know, if I have like an accountability to say people like if I'm presenting a YouTube channel and I know people are watching it, it's it actually helps me to know that people are like wanting to see these videos. And, you know, and it, it keeps in the back of my head. It's a little thing in the back of my head. It says, hey, you know, got to stay on point here. You got to got to keep busting out these videos there. You know, like you said, you were going to uh, keep keep pushing on on the homesteading, you know, because a lot of times I don't want to do this. Sometimes I just want to quit, <laughs> you know, just go get a house in the city and just be done with this. It's, it's a pain. It's hard. So, um, so yeah, anyways, um, I got to get back to work. I'm actually getting ready to pour the concrete for the, the pergola. I'm doing a slab here and you know, if you wonder why I do these different projects, I've said it before, but I'll say it more clearly here. Um, I do projects with, uh, killing multiple birds with one stone in mind, you know, and that's just, you know, pardon the phrase. That's all. That's the only phrase I can think of. But basically I try to achieve multiple objectives with the same task. So that's, that's always been like the cornerstone of what I do out here. So if I build something, I'm not just building it for the purpose of building that, like with this pergola. It wasn't just for the purpose of the pergola. I had an ulterior motive in, in mind the whole time. I said, okay, yeah, I'll build a pergola. However, I want to work with these steel uprights because on my house I have steel uprights and I'm going to be doing some welding with these beams here. And there was a couple things I wanted to iron out before I jump over to the house just to see if there's some things I got to rethink. And it never fails. Every time I do these types of projects, um, they help me in that way to say, ooh, well, I made a big mistake here and I know now not to make that mistake when I go to build my house. I'm still going to make mistakes on the house, but I think over time here, over the last few years, although it seems like it takes forever and it does, um, and sometimes it's like, why do you just keep picking all these projects, these builds? It's like, yeah, but man, the amount of experience that you gain doing this type of thing, um, it's invaluable. Um, you know, you can watch YouTube videos till till you're blue in the face, but the reality of it is until you get out there, here, wherever you're at and start doing things, you know, there's just no substitute for it. So, um, you know, for me, just having my hands in all types of things, electrical, a little plumbing, a little bit of concrete, a little bit of uh, welding, which I, I have experience in already, carpentry I have experience in, um, growing food, etc. They all can apply to the main goal, you know. So so that's why I do what I do out here. If you're wondering why I, I'm always all over the map with some of these projects, it's there's there's a reason for it. Um, so for example, pouring the slab here, um, I'm going to be doing some concrete work and I'm potentially might be taking on a gigantic feat with my house, um, actually trying to do that slab on my own. Um, I do it in sections, but I don't know yet. I'm going to practice practice on this pergola here first and just see if it's even something I even want to mess with, you know, um, cause those are the types of things where I, you know, you'll save a lot of money, but man, you're going to spend a ton of time doing it. So, you know, you have to, you know, balance those and say, is it really worth it? Is it something I really want to do? I love a challenge. Um, I really do. So like for me, it's, it's about challenging yourself, pushing the limits and saying, Hey, you know, I didn't think I could do this, but I figured out a way to make it happen. And that, that always makes you feel good at the end of the day and sometimes you fail and you know i've failed plenty out here so um yeah hopefully this uh resonates with somebody and um I, like i said i think i'm gonna do these once a week where i just talk um it seems like they're more popular sometimes um because it can i can reach out to you know all types of people and talk to, talk about something more general than the specific projects i'm doing so Leave a comment, let me know about this podcast deal, and I'll talk to you soon.